Earlier, we looked at the Logitech M720 mouse on its own. And there were lots of good notes about its design. In this video, we are going to be looking at the MK850, which comes bundled with the M720 mouse and a keyboard K850. Taking two products and calling them a combo alone is not enough. They need to work as a team, complementing each other. We shall be exploring how successful this combo really is. So, earlier when we looked at the M720 mouse, I covered a lot of topics. I'll not repeat those in this video as well, but I'll summarize. For details, by all means, please check out the other video. My words at the time was that things have been simplified. And I mean that in a good way. Simplification is not easily achieved. So, after using the mouse for about a year now, what are my thoughts? Well, I have customized the mouse in the following ways. Scroll wheel tilt left and tilt right does copy and paste. The two thumb buttons for volume up and down and the bottom thumb button does alt tab. These are some of the most common actions I generally perform. The mouse itself with the matte rubber surface is moved around rather easily. The combination of the physical button arrangement and the physical shape of the mouse is so successful that I do not have to think about the mouse in a conscious way. I just focus on the task. Whether I want to copy, paste or do something on the screen, the mouse is almost forgotten. Out of mind, yet it's under my palm. The mouse exists, if you ask me about it. The focus is on the screen in front of me, on the work. So to sum it up, as far as job description for the mouse goes, it really is a success story. And now on to the keyboard. Just like the M720 mouse was a successor to the M705 mouse, the keyboard is an iteration of the MK700 keyboard. I did use that keyboard a number of years ago. It was not a bad keyboard, but the low profile keys were not to my liking. I personally prefer standard NC layout and standard key heights and stroke travel distance. The K850 also has somewhat of a low profile keys, but it's not as low as the previous model. Let's call it lower profile, but it feels rather close to the standard key height and standard key travel distance as well. This is important if you are looking at the screen and relying completely on muscle memory. Now further to that, it does appear that they have tweaked the shape of the individual keys as well as given a slight curve to the overall keyboard. The effect to me was not necessarily plus nor minus, but my wife who uses the keyboard said that this is an improvement. Her previous keyboard was a Logitech G110. She does not play games, but rather for office works, her sentiment is that this is a ergonomic improvement overall. This I agree to as well because of the wrist rest. I have reviewed keyboards with wrist rests before. Mostly it's a piece of plastic either as part of the body of the keyboard or removable. This here Logitech has put some thought into it. Now it's not much to look at. Visually nothing is popping out. But when you feel it, the surface is slightly rubberized very similar to how the mouse surface feels. There is also a little bit of cushioning, very mildly, slightly, but just enough when you place your wrist on them, you know the difference between hard plastic and this wrist rest. This is in line with Logitech's trend towards making things that perhaps looks wise may not be as decorative, but you will use these objects for hours at a time, day after day, month after month, and in that long term, it will pay its dividends in terms of ease of use. To make life just a little bit easier, Logitech ships the products with batteries included. They have been doing this for most of their product these days, which makes them ready to use out of the box. Also, on that note, Logitech has nailed the game of long battery life. Even the K380 that we looked at in 2017 still has the original batteries it came with and works perfectly. 
Logitech is claiming 3 years battery life for keyboard and 2 years for the mouse. Given the track record, it'll probably last longer. Even for a heavy user like myself. So zero concerns on the battery department. So in isolation, the mouse and the keyboard has a rather positive outlook so far. To explore if the two works together, both the mouse and keyboard works over Bluetooth or with Logitech's unifying receiver. Both the mouse and keyboard can switch between devices by press of a button. And in that sense, they are well paired. The MK850 set that we have in a day-to-day -day basis is serving two computers side by side seamlessly switching between the two. The two side by side also feels like they are satisfying the same design brief. That is, no need to look flashy, just be comfortable to use on a day-to-day -day basis, have similar surfaces, serve multiple devices with ease of switching between them, and it does all this, no problems. At this point in time, the combo is selling in Amazon for about $71 or perhaps lower, I have left a link in the description below for you to check. There are a lot of competition at this price point, however, as far as reputation and earned track record, there are few that may match up to the name of Logitech. If the price is within your budget, the MK850 should certainly be taken seriously as it sets out to do a few simple things and it does them very, very well. Well, this wraps up the video. I hope you have liked it and I have left links in the description below for updated price. Using those links does help our channel bring more contents. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.